You have just dialed in live to the center of the grilling universe. That's right, guys. It's red hot and ready. And today, we're climbing out of that doghouse. We're sucking up. We're packing up a little lunch for your honey. That's right, and I'm going to take it one step further. I'm packing it in and wrapping it up. It's kind of like a little afternoon reminder of how much you care. Yeah, then we're going to pack it up. She's going to take it. She's going to leave. Then the real girlfriend's coming over. To the grill. Okay guys, welcome back. As I told you in the intro, we're packing up a lunch for your baby, okay? This is gonna pay dividends in a lot of different ways. But, you know, all joking aside, she really deserves it, doesn't she? <laughs> so, what is your lady like? She likes things that are non-fattening but tasty. So, we got our shaver here. We're gonna peel up some carrots. We're gonna make a very cool dip for it as well. It's gonna be like a tahini dip, which is a sesame paste dip. Just what she's gonna appreciate, right? And this is what you're gonna appreciate. I mean, you start giving her all sorts of carbs, man, you're not gonna be with her that long, are you? Back off, the sow is mine! Okay, let's find a proper tool here. Cut the ends off here. You notice I have a bowl of ice water in front of me. This is to make sure that the uh, vegetables stay nice and crispy until the time you pack it. Okay. So we're cutting these into quarters. Throwing them in, do the same thing with our zucchini. Cutting the ends off, cut straight down, cut into quarters, put them in half, manageable bite-sized pieces. Actually, that's gonna be enough for her. She doesn't have that big an appetite. Okay, celery, same thing. Easy as that. Let it sit in here, it's gonna stay nice and crisp. I'll show you how to make this dip now. We've got a cup of natural sour cream. We've got tahini, which is a sesame seed paste. It's used in making hummus and baba ganoush and the kind of Middle Eastern style uh, dips. So we put that straight in. We've got about a half a tablespoon of cumin, which is another very sort of uh, obvious Middle Eastern kind of flavor. We've got some chives, that's a couple tablespoons, and some lemon juice, just to give it that little acidic kick that you're gonna want. See, see how easy this is? This is just so fast. Nice result. Baby's gonna love you. When she shows up home a little later on, she's gonna give you all that good loving that you've been looking forward to, right? I'll try. Parfait. Actually, you know what this needs? It needs a little salt. Sea salt again, right? The non-iodized variety of salt. Tastes much better than the regular table salt with iodine, that is. That's ready. Next thing I'm gonna show you. <clears throat> we're going to make a salad. It's going to be a chicken, cashew, and pineapple salad. We're going to carve up this pineapple. And with this, what we're going to do, we're going to haul this out. We're going to use the pineapple from inside for our salad, but we're going to make kind of a cool little basket out of this. Oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Okay, okay, I know it's artsy craftsy. You don't have to tell any of your buddies you're doing this, okay? Only she will know. And it's going to, it's going to win big for you, man. First, let's go over here. <clears throat> The salad's fine, the chicken's cool, the, you know, the pineapple, the chicken, the cashew, it's gonna taste great. But what we wanna do is we wanna make it a little bit spicy, right? We're gonna make ourselves a fantastically spicy and flavorful jerk rub, okay? This is what they use for when they make the jerk chicken and the jerk pork down in Jamaica. Okay, these here, habanero peppers, these are nasty, okay? These have about 250,000 heat units, called Scoville units. A jalapeno pepper only has about 45,000, so. I still don't really know what it means. It's amazing. That's hot. That's hot. I'm not gonna put that in just because I just licked it, right? You wanna try a bit of this cracker? Come on over here. Oh. Come on, man. Don't be afraid. Okay. There you are. Just try that little bit there. Let the good people know at home what you think. Wow. It's pretty hot. How hot is it, cracker? My lips hurt. <laughs> okay, look, we got these babies in here. We got a half an onion, rough chopped. Don't worry about chopping it up too small, because this thing's gonna process it down. We got half a cup of chopped scallion or green 
green onions, also known as. Tablespoon and a half of fresh thyme. We've got some allspice. This stuff here, this is the stuff that gives the real characteristic jerk Caribbean sort of flavoring, okay? It smells like Christmas, man. This stuff is great. So that's about a tablespoon there. We got about half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon, maybe just a little less than half a teaspoon of nutmeg. We got some salt and we got a lid. Pop the lid on there, turn your unit on. There we are. Okay, once you start this, you're going to want to add a little bit of oil to it. Otherwise, it's just not going to bust up for you. Okay, that's almost there. Okay. I agree. Mm. Well, that's wickedly hot. You found that hot cracker? Yeah. Man. Very, very nice. Okay, you're not going to need very much of this. Just basically enough to lightly coat your chicken breast here. We've got some boneless, skinless chicken breast. I pop these in. Give it a turn. Okay, we're just going to turn this, get this all coated up, let it sit for a couple of hours. This chicken's going to marinate very quickly because, number one, it does not have the skin left on it. Man, these peppers from here, they're making my eyes burn. That's how strong these things are. So when we come back, we're going to continue to rub and jerk our chicken, and man, it's going to taste fantastic. You don't want to miss this, okay? This is hot. <laughs> Remember when you were a kid and lunchtime could either be the best or the worst time of day, depending on whatever you found when you opened your lunch bag? Well, I bet that you vowed when you got older that you would eat whatever the hell you wanted for lunch from then on. You know, the same thing goes when you're packing a lunch for your girlfriend. You want it to be a little bit special. So today we talked to the crew of Red Hot and Ready to get a couple little ideas. So stick around because we've got some fresh ideas to spice up the little brown bag. All you need is a ball peen hammer and a good pair of shoes. It's all about finding your inner caveman here on Red Hot and Ready. Okay guys. I hope you can forgive me for this portion. Bad taste never tasted so good. We're making ourselves a lovely pineapple basket for a pineapple cashew and jerked chicken salad, okay? First thing we did is we're gonna turn it upside down. We're gonna serve this baby upside down. Take one cut here. Come on, Dean, check this out. I'm sure you're very interested in this. Cut down to about here. Take that off. Cut this down to the same distance on the other side. Okay, and you take that piece off. Simple enough, right? Almost there. So what we've done is we've created a handle for our basket here. So I'm just going to hollow that out now. Dean's getting very excited about this. Why is it that the word hollow excited you so much. Okay, pop that out. What we got here is a Parisienne scoop. And we're just going to slowly start scooping out our pineapple. Reserving it, though, as well for the salad. Hey, Cracker, what time is it? Time traveling. Take a look at that, Dean. Look at that. Hi. That's the last time you'll be seeing me do that. Okay, any nut actually benefits by toasting. Who are these people? We're using the cashews here today. What that does, because there's such a high nut oil content in these, that's where all the flavor is, okay? So when you toast it, it comes up to the surface and gets very intense. And you know when they're done because they start going a little bit more golden, and also the smell of them is quite intense. Okay, keep tossing that. Once you start going brown, too, you want to make sure that they're moving around a lot in the pan. Otherwise, it's going to burn on you. And that's not going to get you any brownie points. That's really bad. They're just about perfect. They got some nice color on them. The aroma and flavor are really intense, okay? So these go straight in here. 
Our chicken, once we grilled it, will go in here as well. So we're just making the basis for this, right? But once again, you're probably asking yourself, why the hell am I making a pineapple basket for my girlfriend? Well, this equals these, right? This equals these. They make adapters for everything. Toss this in, a little salt. And when we go outside, we're jerking that chicken, throwing it on in here, and we're gonna hope for the best, okay? So come on back. Now, Lucy, if you were to pack a lunch for your boyfriend, how would you make it special? Um, if I were to pack a lunch for my boyfriend, I'd make it special by including something nutritious that he can eat on the run. And now, you brought a lunch today. What do you have in your lunch? I have here a special lunch that my boyfriend made for me. He's included in it a special root that he found when he was traveling in Latin America. Oh. It's a yucca root, and you have to eat it whole. Bruce, if you were to make a packed lunch for your wife, how would you make it special? Well, I do most of the cooking at home, and when I go away on uh, business, etc., she seems to live on cheese and tomato sandwiches, so that's what I'd make for her, ah. cheese and tomato sandwiches. All right, now your wife kindly makes a lunch for you every day. You come in with these great-looking lunches. What do you have today? Well, um, as some of you may have gathered, I'm a vegetarian. In fact, I'm a lacto-ovo-pescador vegetarian. And my wife knows this, and she takes that into account. It makes me something special every day, so I don't know what I have today. Well, you want to nice. take a look? Yeah. Okay. It's a surprise for you every day, huh? <gasps> a poor little piggy's ear! So Linda, we're doing a little survey today about packed lunches. Now, if you were to pack a lunch for your boyfriend, what would you do to make it a little bit special? Me. <laughs> okay, did you pack yourself a lunch today? Yes. Let's see what you've got. It's a uh, salt cod tongue. Uh, because every girl needs a little tongue mousse. Hey, Cracker, what do you have in your lunch? Tom, if you were making a lunch for your girlfriend, what would you do to make it just a little bit more special? Um, well, I know she loves chocolate, so I'd probably put some chocolate in there because I know she's really fond of it. Oh, that's really sweet. And she made a lunch for you today. Yeah. So let's see what's in it. That evil skank. She knows I'm allergic to fish. What are you looking at? All right, Joshua, now if you were packing your girlfriend a lunch, how would you make it special? Oh, I don't know, candies, chocolates, you know, something like that, something sweet. Or, you know what you could do? You could add one of those 25 cent grab bag things that got like toys and treats inside of it, like when she was a kid, that'd be excellent. Okay, what do you have in your lunch today? I got uh, my favorite. You know, it's got a little bit of milk, a little soft flesh, and it's kind of fuzzy on the outside. Actually, you know what, the thing actually it really does remind me of my girlfriend. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, fuzzy, hard to hard to get inside of, and, uh, and um, hollow. <laughs> okay guys, let's get to jerking our chicken, okay? Got a nice hot barbecue going on here. We have it on full kill, right? Got our marinated chicken. A little bit of oil. And let's get it straight on. A little toss here. Try to rub a little bit of the excess off, okay? Otherwise it's gonna flare up on you. We are. We put this towards the edge because it's a little bit smaller and it's going to cook faster. If you want them all to come off at the same time, put the big ones in the heat and the little ones away from the direct heat. Okay, we're going to let this cook for about four or five minutes, okay, on either side. But we're going to check it every two and a half minutes or so just to make sure it's not burning, okay? Got to be careful with these marinades, as I said, because they will stick to the grill. While this is cooking, let's get on. We have a roasted red pepper aioli. This is going to be a dip for our asparagus that we're going to do shortly. We're going to grill off some asparagus wrapped in prosciutto, which is cave meat, really. It's this uh, hung air-cured leg of ham, okay? It's really amazing, salty, chewy, very meaty. I knew it looked familiar. What I want to show you first is how we roast a red pepper. Got this. Well, did it. Okay, there. We got our blowtorch. And we torch it. And just go until the skin cracks, right? That's what she said. Just do it until the skin cracks. Ouch. So this is going to take a few minutes. So, uh, hey, Cracker, what time you got over there? Time travel. 
Well, this turned out rather well, you know, and it barely took any time. What we got now here is a pepper that's ready to be peeled. Just grab yourself a cloth and gently go over the skin. Or use your fingers if that works for you. Okay, because the skin turns a little bit bitter, okay? If it's not that charred, you can leave the skin on, but I suggest you take it off. Got that out. Remove your seeds just by running your finger along the inside of the meat. Into s and we're gonna be smacking them hard and... That sounds really painful. Oh, well, that's not what I do best. And straight into our little processor here. Beautiful. That's what I meant about the marinade sticking to the grill, right? I did it on purpose, though. Okay, about another three or four minutes, that should be ready. Okay, guys, so when we come back, we're gonna be finishing off our red pepper aioli. We're gonna be wrapping up some asparagus with prosciutto cave meat, throwing that on the grill. So you don't wanna miss this. Come back, it'll be chilling. From Hamburg to your burg, it's all about the meat here on Red Hot Ready. We're smoking it, chopping it, slashing it, and grilling it here on Red Hot Ready. Okay, guys, check this out. This stuff is perfectly cooked. Nice and tender, flavorful. I have to try a piece of this. There's no way she's gonna be able to eat all this, so. Uh, I think it's time for a little bit of a crew dinner. What do you think? Guys, you into it? Ooh. Hell yeah. Was that cracker? Hell yeah. Does your mother know you speak like that? Yes. Okay. Come on in. Come on. <laughs> there we are. There you are, boy. There you go. Mm. Mm. That's very good. There. Let's just chop the stuff up and add it to our pineapple and cashew mixture. Mmm. Boom. Straight in. Give this a little toss. Stir with the tongs. Get it combined. Mmm. That is good. Now this whole thing, you know, I, I, I had doubts about this when I started. That's not true! But I think this is, uh, this is gonna work out. If only for the fact that I get a decent tasting lunch myself. I'm very impressed. Now very carefully, gingerly even, put this inside your pineapple basket, okay? Check this out, what do you think of that? Isn't that lovely? Beautiful, sweet, nice, easy. Oh my God. Home run, baby. Yeah, there's no way I was letting that piece of evidence off this porch. No way. It's for boys only. Let's try to make ourselves some mayonnaise. Red pepper, hot red pepper mayonnaise. Whoop. Need a couple of egg yolks, which is what that is there. Getting rid of the egg whites. Because they don't have enough protein in them to bind all this mayonnaise together. Toss that in. A couple tablespoons of lemon juice. Lots of garlic, a couple cloves there. Some shallots. That's about one and a half shallots, finely minced, okay? Put our lid on, whoops. Turn it on and puree it. We're gonna put about a cup and a half of oil in here. Do it slowly, otherwise you're gonna split your mayonnaise. It's just gonna come out as separate oil and uh, the remaining of the ingredients that you have there. Okay, just look there. Let's check this out. See, nicely thickened up. That's just right. It's gonna be like sort of a, a mayonnaise sauce that you'll be pouring across your asparagus. Mm, very good. Just needs a touch of salt though as everything else does, didn't they? Okay, let's get right onto our asparagus here, okay? Grab them by the butt and bend them, and we'll snap where the tender part meets the hard part, okay? Just like that, get rid of the woody bits. Gonna grab our cave meat here. Wrapping this up. 
just like so. Do another little bundle here as well. Putting this down. Trying to make it as even as possible. Wrap it over once, as many times as you can fold it over. Leaving all your asparagus sort of lying side by each in a row. Take your skewers here, poke it through the prosciutto and through the asparagus, <sighs> going straight through. That one didn't quite make it through the meat on the other side, but that's okay. We'll get it with this one. <sighs> now that's ready for the grill. Straight on. What these sticks are going to allow you to do, the skewers, you're going to be able to pick them up as one unit and turn them over. It makes it a lot easier for you. It doesn't take any time. <sighs> Straight through. Number two. <sighs> Straight through. That's just about perfect. Touch of salt. Close this down. Three to four minutes, these things should be fantastic. But you know, I wonder how Melissa's day is going. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? It smells good. Mm, it's going great, you know. I, I think I've, I've put together a real winner here. Yeah, you're going to get rid of the lady with this meal? Maybe get another one. Ooh, what did you make me? Well, we got some cave meat wrapped. That's prosciutto wrapped asparagus spears. What's Grilled cave meat? It's prosciutto di Parma. It's pigs that have been uh, hacked up, basically, and hung up in a cave. <laughs> no, seriously, though. But, but see, the thing is that they have to be tortured first. They're hung up live. You need to be tortured first. I probably do need to be. Is that a promise? <laughs> what else did you make me? Okay. We got some um, jerked chicken with pineapple and cashews. Mm, what kind okay. of sauce? Jerk okay. sauce. What else? <laughs> What's this? This is uh, red pepper aioli. And that goes on here. So you can put some of that on there. What's aioli? Aioli is a garlic mayonnaise. It's mayonnaise that's a little bit healthy? It's a lot healthy. This stuff is fantastic. Because mayonnaise is just about the healthiest stuff you can eat. That's right. <laughs> Pro proven by heart patients worldwide. <laughs> How much? Like that? As much as you like. As much as you, th you think you can take. I mean, taste it. Is that good? Oh, that's hot. Well, that's because we're red hot and ready. The home of smoky good eats. Ooh.